Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Meaty69, and we are back. Um, we have three battles now, and with the name of the title, uh, Stolen Aces, it's pretty much just three random battles that are all first class, and could a couple of them could actually be aces, but... We were so close, but yet so far away. But this first battle is is not me. Uh, we've got three battles. Two of them are me. And this one is my good friend, Ruck. Um, been friends with him for a couple of years. And he showed me this battle. And he asked me to, to post it. And the thing about this battle is, if you look at his loadout... It is all HE, so he is currently doing uh, an HE challenge. So he is driving the Jaegeru uh, only with HE, and he has actually has a very good battle. And you wouldn't think it from now. He gets one track, he gets shot, he gets shot again, and he's going to get shot another couple of times. So already within just over a minute. Of the game he's done 300 damage to the FV215B and he got absolutely wrecked so now he's a one shot to any tank on the enemy team so so far his HE challenge is not going very well however the FV4202 has taken out the tortoise and now we have a bat chat very good target for him if the bat chat doesn't focus him so the bat chat is running through gets one shot and he gets absolutely deleted 1100 damage for ruck there uh, so so far two shots and he's done just over 1400 damage not so bad two tanks down uh, five left and they've still got seven and here we have a waffle juicy target and that shot I don't know how that hit, but that was a crazy shot. An amazing shot. Um, but the Waffle doesn't care. He still managed to take out the FV4202. So it is now two tanks down for the Reds and one tank down for the Greens. And he's done, what was it, 14? So he's done about 2,500 damage. So he's already done his average, an average tier 10 damage. So even if he dies now, he's still done his not not too bad. Two two point five K. Not too bad. But it's not gonna stop there. He does get a few other nice shots. Um but the team are dying. So we've got the E4 now, the E5, and you've got the 121B. Now battles like this, although when the battle finishes and you see the damage, it's not bad damage. For, for a HE challenge, it's not bad damage. But then on the other hand, if you look at it, and you also got to think, if he wasn't doing a HE challenge, he would have a lot more damage. Now this shot here, he's aiming for the engine deck, and he pulls off a fantastic shot. So another great shot. So that's three shots, four shots, I can't remember. And he's done now five, uh, nearly five, 4K damage, sorry. Uh, and he gets a shot onto the E5, 400 damage, not so bad. So it is now four against four, but there is a couple of tanks that are a one shot. But also on the greens, there is a couple of tanks that are a one shot. So he can't get to the E5. And now a lovely juicy target, which is the 121B, but he just can't get a shot off. But he does manage to do 91 damage. So it's still a little bit of damage. Although if he had AP, maybe he could have had the shot off. But the 121B has taken out the E3, leaving 3 against 4. And now this is perfect. The 121B is going to rush the IS-8. So he is aiming, he's aiming, and he gets his rear. Thank you very much, 121B. And that's another 1,000 damage. So now it's 3 against 3. And we, we already know the E4 down there is a one shot. 
the E5 is a one shot and the waffle is a one shot. So the E4 is now dead. The waffle takes out the IS8, leaving two against two. The waffle, I'm assuming, is going to come from the right side. Or there he is. He's just been spotted. And he's going to pull off the shot to clear him up for his second kill. And the object 140 is going to take out the E5. So two, two kills for him. 5.8k damage. 300 credits. Uh, he gets the sniper. And it was a very nice battle. 5.8k. First class with a HE challenge. So if he wasn't just using the HE. And he had a few shots with AP. He could have probably nearly reached the 7k damage mark. But nonetheless it was still a fantastic battle considering he lost all that hit points very early on so moving on to the next battle we are in my grill we've got three mediums and the enemy have got two mediums now originally i was gonna come up to here and go to the sniper spot which the leopard one has been spotted so in, instead of moving up i decide just to wait here and see if I can get shots off on the Leopard, as he's in a bad position. He's got himself into a very bad position. So he's getting shot from our mediums, and here comes the WZ111. So I managed to get a shot off, and this is where I decide, actually, I'm not going to go up that hill, because there's now a grill there, there's a heavy there, and there is only one tank spotted the medium side uh, the heavy side which sorry which is the jaegeru so i decided to back up and come around this corner and hopefully get a few shots off so i managed to get one shot there into that leopard could have used he but he was moving i didn't want to take the time to switch and i wanted to maximize my damage so we get one shot into him and then we just clear that grill using our he and now we're spotted so look, fucking grill you shouldn't have been there, mate. I only done 90 or so damage. Or well, if that. And he's moaning at me. And now we've got the M103 800 max roll into him. But our mediums are now dead. So it is four against six. And now watch this shot. This silly leopard. If you look carefully, I've just seen a little fence break. And as that fence broke, I thought, I'm going to shoot because he's coming through and we do manage to take him out for our second kill so it's now four against five now i, I do need to be careful because i knew know there was an m103 up there somewhere there is another grill and our leopard one stay grill yes i'm not going to go out and now the leopard pta has been spotted by the cap so really all that is up here that i know of is the m103 now what i don't know is the M103 isn't actually there. He has moved away. And my team there, M103 full health. No, he's not. I've done 800 damage to him. Thank you very much. So it's now three against five. So this is where I start pushing. The Jaegeru is pretty much a one shot. The Leopard PTA could be a one shot if I use my HE. Um, and there's still a Death Star that's not been spotted all game. So the Waffle takes out the Jaegeru, which is now three against four and i've been spotted now i'm not actually sure at this time who spots me i've no idea because the leopard is by the cap surely he can't spot me there i poke up and the m103 is by cap so he can't spot me there so what's the other tank and there's the 111 he can't spot me so the only other tank is the death star as soon as i pull around this corner i turn right and look who staring me in the face. But luckily he only managed to, does, uh, to do 400 damage RNG on my side. And we managed to get two shots off him to him before he reloads. And now we're going to back up. So at this time it is now one against three. So the M103 has now taken out our E75. So it leaves me alone against the WZ111. Carry me home Leopard 1. I will try my very best, but it's kind of hard when you've got a Death Star looking at you in the face. And I am a one shot to him if he uses his HE, which he is because he's already shot me once with HE. Uh, trying to back up, but there's a dead carcass there. And now I'm not spotted. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and run away and get into a better position because if I stay there, 
I could have the M103 come behind me, I can have the WZ111 uh, come up behind me, and I'm in a bad spot. So now the Death Star spots me, so, which means I can't now run away, because if I run across the bridge, I, I am visible to him, and he would just shoot me with Hesh in the rear. So now I can't really do nothing except for stay here. Oh, look, M103. Let's focus him. He pokes out, gives me that little hatch on top. Thank you very much. And I take him out for my third kill. And now we have the WZ111. So he's going to miss. We're going to miss him. Well, we're not even going to shoot him. He backs up just in time. And then look at that silly position for me. 1,264 damage. Hesh leaving me on just 59 hit points. But we're going to back up and we're going to hopefully hide from that Death Star. And we're going to focus the WZ because he's the more dangerous target at this point. Because the Death Star doesn't, the turret doesn't turn uh, fully. It's quite slow and we bounce the heat shot into him. Um, luckily we miss and he doesn't poke back. He's aiming to get me before I reload. But I do manage to clear him up before he reloads for my fourth kill and now it shouldn't be too hard to take out the death star so he's going to poke all the way around not aware that i'm reloaded and we managed to take him out for our fifth kill and we get the kolobanov it was only 4.9k damage but we got the top gun high caliber the sniper the radleys the kolobanov and it was actually a very very good game um only 1200 uh, XP, so not enough for an ace, nowhere near enough for an ace, but it was a nice first class and it was a very nice battle. Now, moving on to our last battle. Now, this out of all three of these games was the one that I thought, you know what, this is definitely an ace. It's definitely an ace. And I even showed my workmate before the end screen come. I said, look at this battle, definitely an ace. And it showed up, and I was like, are you effing kidding me? So the enemy have got two mediums and a light tank. We've got two mediums. So the Batchat is now spotted. The T-62 has come up the other uh, this side of us. So we're just going to wait and we're going to hopefully see if we can protect our Object 140 because he has gone there alone. And I don't want the mediums on the enemy team to rush him. So we're just going to sit back and we're going to be patient and... We're going to see what we can do. So the IS-7 is around there, but we aren't able to get any shots into him. But now we are spotted. Now the Leopard doesn't quite poke up, but the T-62 has spotted me. And he tries to get some shots into me. But we managed to get one shot into him. And we bounce the shot. And then we back up. And now we have the Jaeger up there. We have an AMX coming around. But I'm going to focus on the Jaeger I shouldn't really. I should have gone for the AMX. Tried a lovely HE shell easily into the rear of him. But we do take one shot and he just manages to go around that corner before I'm reloaded. And now we have the Jaeger again. He's going to push up. He's going to turn around and we're going to aim. And we get a lovely side shot into him, putting him now down to a one shot. And again, just as I'm reloading, the AMX has done a full circle, but he gets trapped, which means I can fully reload, aim at his rear, and we do 1222 damage into him but now i have noticed the mediums are now starting to push me so i'm in a good position because i've got hard cover to my left we're going to use the he hopefully he pokes around which he does and we managed to do 876 damage into him and we're going to back up and just make it so he can't circle us and that's exactly what he tries to do we are Luckily, the bat chat now, the E5 just kills the bat chat because if he was to come as well, I would have been absolutely screwed. So at, look at this at the minute. It's six against three. A walk in the park, but that does soon change. We have got an AFK tortoise on our team. And now, thankfully, the leopard tries to run away. So I do use the HE again and we clear him up. So it's now five against two. But you can see that two tanks are near enough a one shot. Um, a tortoise a tortoise is AFK so it's now four against two three against two we, do we get one shot into the T95 no we don't manage but he does 
turn around, but we still not enough. We, he gets one, someone gets one shot, which is the E5 gets one shot into him, which now he is a one shot. But the E, uh, the T95 and the T62 are both going to rush the E5 and they will clear him up. So we've got one shot now onto the side of the T62. We're going to focus more on the T62 because he's a quick tank. I'm not too bothered about the T95 because he's really slow. Um, but the T62 backs up and I'm unfortunately can't get a shot into him so then i'm not going to sit and wait i might as well take out the t95 while i've got no other shots i might as well just take him out so that is exactly what we do um and now it's just me versus this t62 now i'm not going to poke out and i'm not going to go into the middle he is shooting me so i'm still going to be use the hard cover to my right and he's the one that makes the mistake now he could have won this easy easy but he pokes out too greedy and we get a nice shot into him and we do end that battle on 6.6k damage first class uh 1480 xp which i believe should have been a nice but it wasn't oh well and that's it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon